In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie your rope to a carabiner. So stay tuned and we'll get started. Alright guys, first thing you want to do is make sure you get a good carabiner. Okay, this is a this is a rated a climbing carabiner. This is rated for climbing. Uh, this is at 2,000 pounds. Oh, I'm sorry, 1,000 pounds. So just make sure that you're not using one of those cheap Walmart carabiners. You need a real carabiner if you're going to use it for climbing or anything like that. So and uh, the rope. This is just a plain Jane poly rope from Walmart. So this is just for demonstration. Uh, you probably could belay with it and whatnot. I wouldn't trust your life on it but you could do some small stuff. Anyways, this tutorial is going to be about how to properly tie your rope to your carabiner. So the things you'll need is a carabiner, a rope, and for this demonstration I'm going to use some black tape. Now you don't have to have some electrical tape. You can use twine, something to tie it off with. I'll show you where it comes into play later, but um, you don't have to have anything. I guess I could show you another way of doing it, but I like to have black tape and you should have it on you on your EDC anyway or your, your pack so let's get started and get right into it first I'm going to determine the bottom of my carabiner the hinge side of the carabiner will be my bottom take my rope and I'm going to try and do this backwards for you guys you go inside make a loop go inside it one more time this is where I'm going to try and get, make sure I don't lose you guys. It's hard doing it backwards. i got to remember how to do it backwards. Go around the front. Come around the back and go through both loops you just made. So, there's that. It should look something like that right now. Alright. You guys can pause and whatnot to follow along. But I'm going to pull some of that tail out, and that's what you're going to do is pull it out. But once you've gotten it, you can tighten up your bottom. Tighten it up, just keep pulling on it, pull your tail. I'll tighten the tail up. And tighten it one more time. There you go. That is tied on now. The more you pull on it, the more it will actually bite on this tail end. See how it wraps underneath? This rope will bite down on it. So, now, this will tell you, this little tail right here, probably wondering what, what the deal with that is. Well, that's where the electrical tape comes into play. Now, the electrical tape has no holding power. It doesn't do anything to secure it or, or uh, for the knot or anything like that. It just basically is keeping the tail stationary and you just wrap it up that way the tail's not flying around or anything like that it doesn't do any any other purpose other than that now this is where I say that you could use um, what happened to my tape this is where you could use twine if you needed to uh, anything that you can tie it down with just to kind of hold it flat against the rope itself that's all it's for after that pull it off there you go it just keeps it nice and uniform. But that's how it should look to the front and to the back side. That's what it looks like. There you go. Now you're ready to go. Now you can take this and other end and do what you need to it. But this tutorial is how to properly tie your rope to a carabiner. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip.